Welcome back, everybody, to the Welp. Here we are on YouTube channel. More Beyonce coming at you, Ryan. This is Barbara Streisand tribute. This is given mm -hmm. to us by our guide. Is this on the road to? Uh, nope. Oh no, no, this isn't. This is just. We've completed we it. We completed the road to Roseland. So, put this way, as far as the songs that are going to be played on that concert DVD, we've heard them all. Yeah. So we should say. If there's a song and or video that you want us to react to because you think we really have to and we're not, our guide isn't giving it to us and we're missing it, join our Patreon and go to the $25 tier and send mm -hmm. us that request. Other than that, Nathan and I are going to keep going on along our train track of Beyonce as we see fit until we're told otherwise. Okay. Yeah. It's a tribute to Barbara Streisand. Do you like Barbara Streisand? Do you know anything about her? Any background? Barbara Streisand, my parents were big into Barbara Streisand when I was a kid. They grew up with her acting and singing career. Mm -hmm. I don't know anything really about her. I mean, I know what she looks like. I, mm -hmm. I haven't. I mean, I've seen like you. I've seen a couple of her films that she's been in throughout the years. Of course, you can't really avoid that. A lovely woman. Uh, I still would like to see her star is born. I think that would be interesting to watch now. Her oh, rendition right. of that film. Obviously, a very accomplished singer. But I don't know anything about it. Like I couldn't even name you a song of hers off the top of my head. So uh, we've done tributes for Tina, which I know more of her stuff, of course, and Prince, of course. Mm. So this is definitely going to be interesting to see a tribute to Barbara because I'm not familiar with any Barbara songs that I'm aware of, unless Beyonce here sings one that we might know. We just didn't know that we knew it. But okay. have you heard of the uh, Streisand effect? Remember we talked about that? Remind me again. So the Streisand effect was an early internet phenomenon that happened in the early days of the internet where someone took a photo of Barbara Streisand's house and posted it on the internet. It was like an aerial shot, I think. It was, I think I recall it being like, you know, it was overhead. It was like at the front of her door. It was like a top in the air looking down at her house, a big, huge mansion, of course. She was upset about it, and she wanted to sue or get after the photographer that released this picture of her home, which is not against the law because you're allowed to take pictures of homes in public. If it's in the, you could take it, you go outside your door right now, take a picture of your neighbor's house. There's nothing against, you can't stop that from happening. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but she wanted it taken down and say, how dare you take a picture of my house? Again, early days of the internet, she's a little bit older. She might not understand internet law or mm -hmm. picture law. So the Streisand effect, Nathan is, is everyone's like, well, what's her house look like? What's she talking about? So everyone started uh -huh. Googling the house. Has she not said anything? Has she not brought attention to it? <laughs> Nobody would have cared because right now, would you have ever considered Googling her home? Well, no, there might be people that watch this video that are not going well, to Google. Now you said it to me, I want to go and check it out right now. Sure. Go ahead. <laughs> Destroys an effect. All right. While you're doing that, we'll start listening. <laughs> Oh, so you know who her husband is there? That's, uh, you know, Josh Brolin, the guy who plays Thanos in the, the Marvel films, that actor, uh, Josh Brolin. Yeah. That's his dad. Uh, James. Uh, there you go. Thank you. Brolin. But anyways, they're married, by the way. That's kind of crazy. I don't know if you knew that. Okay. Yeah. So this is obviously okay. 16, 16 years ago now, but here we go. Gotcha. Again. And this is interesting here. This was a little piece of trivia here. So nobody asked us in the YouTube comments. So this is a re-record because Beyonce wasn't happy with her performance. It's going to be kind of weird because we're going to see her re-record, but the reactions that we're seeing from Barbara would be the original. The original. Yeah. yeah, interesting. Okay, interesting. All right, all right. Let's watch this. I'm sure it was just fine, but Beyonce is probably a perfectionist. Like any artist, they probably mm. just, I could, I could have done better. I could have done better. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Smiles we left behind 
Oh, it's the Who. That's the Who with them. Oh, the Who's there too. Yeah, so they get honored as well. It's an honor to sing for you, Miss Tristan. Thank you. I'm not going to say Jeremy's wrong here at the beginning of this. I did a little bit of research about Mm. that claim here. This is a re record. Not exactly. According to my research from two different, a few different sources, Beyonce paid tribute to Barbara Streisand by performing her hit song, The Way We Were at the 2008 Kennedy Center Honors. Streisand, who was being honored that year, was not initially impressed with Beyonce's first rendition during rehearsals. Oh. However, Beyonce sang the song again, and Streisand felt she did it, quote, beautifully the second time. Hmm. It was a re-record in that sense that they probably do record it twice, Mm. just in case. Uh, further research here, Nathan. Again, another source. Uh, Streisand herself was not initially impressed with Beyonce's first rendition during rehearsals, again, but she felt Beyonce sang the song, quote, beautifully the second time. Beyonce's powerful performance at the actual event was stunning and memorable, celebrating Streisand's iconic song with her own talent as a performer. The audience reaction was overwhelmingly positive, with Beyonce's performance being one of the most talked about moments from that year's event. Okay. Wow. Okay. Interesting. If you're the author of a song, you have the like, you know, whether or not that's that's a good enough version. I just I can't imagine. I don't know. <laughs> it's, uh, nothing against Barbara Streisand, but I just can't imagine having enough. Uh, I don't know if that's good enough. Those words would never come out of my mouth about someone else even if i th- even if i thought that about somebody yeah, else sure. performing one of my songs yeah. yeah like if i had made a song i would be kind of i don't know that's just me but uh I, barbara streisand I, I know she's known for you know speaking her mind and so it's just odd to me i i would i'd be honored no matter who was singing it first this song was originally recorded in 1974 for the film the way we were with her and robert redford uh, mm-hmm. so that was a long time ago boy <laughs> 40 yeah was it that's we before were, we were born. Oh it's 50 boy. years ago. 50 years? Yeah, 50 years. Wow. <laughs> 50 years ago. We're getting old, yeah. boy. <laughs> it was a commercial success, the song itself. Mm. And uh, it was cer- certified platinum. So, of course, she was a big star back then. If you can believe it, she's 81 now, Barbara. Like, wow. I believe it. Like I say, my parents were really uh, into Streisand music back back in the day, and, and obviously her as an actress. Like, I like the song. Don't get me wrong. I, I really enjoyed the song, and I, I, I think Beyonce just kills it. Like, she just mm-hmm. looks stunning, and she's very elegant, and 
but it's interesting to know some of the pressure that she's under. It's like, right. like you better do this right. You didn't do it right the first time. Like, I just feel this like, yeah. Oh. yeah. Like, <laughs> You're right. Yeah, here's the thing. Here's the funny thing. We don't, this is a very interesting. So thank you, Jeremy, for bringing it up. And he says, oh, sorry, my mistake. Misconstrued mm. some details. No, that's fine. I told them in the comments here. I said, no, oh, I just saved you from a bunch of YouTube comments because people are going to be like, no, don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're deleting their comments. So. Well, we, we're all, yeah, hopefully. We're all learning together, Jeremy. We're all learning together. Mm. This is the kind of things that I actually enjoy when I do this channel with Nathan. I actually find this behind the scenes stuff very fast. Name. Of course, Beyonce killed it. She looked beautiful. She looked stunning. She nailed it. Mm -hmm. The song, it's totally not my wheelhouse. This is probably why I don't listen to Barbra Streisand. It's it's the type of music I don't listen to. I get it. It's my parents, it's my grandparents' type of music. I understand that. Mm -hmm. She sold 150 million albums in her life, Nathan. She's doing okay. She's fine. <laughs> She's very successful and all right on stage and screen. However, yeah, I don't flock to Barbara's songs. But Beyonce, here's the thing: if Beyonce sang a Barbra Streisand album, it'd probably be a fantastic listen because it's Beyonce. So watching her perform it, I could do it all day. I'd rather watch mm -hmm. Beyonce do it. So that's the power of Beyonce. I suspect because Barbara Streisand is who she is. It's like it is probably a combination of she's been in the business forever. She's been in the business, obviously, like before Beyonce was born, she sang the song mm -hmm. before we were born. Mm -hmm. So she's been doing this a long time. And she probably wasn't doing it to be critical to Beyonce, but to mm -hmm. get more out of her. She mm, probably mm. knew that Beyonce could do a better job. And so if you want to look at it that way, that it was like, mm -hmm. you know what, Beyonce, I think you can do better. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. probably wouldn't have given the criticism <clears throat> to knock her down. It was probably given to say, you give me more because I know you have more. And so when she did the second time, that was a universal claim that was given. So I suspect it was more of a mentor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I find it fascinating, though. Interesting stuff. Though. Interesting Thanks. that the uh, the Streisand effect applied to that song. <laughs> yeah, it did. Okay, when you're done, folks, go look up at her house now. Go look up the Barbara Streisand house. <laughs> great, great choice from our guide for something to yeah. continue the journey. Help to fill in some of those gaps for us. So, Absolutely. Yeah, we'll look forward to the next one.